This is important. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty, like that guy looks at his image in a glass, continueth therein, he beeth not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work. This man shall be blessed in his what? In his deeds. All right, now. Let's look at something real quickly. Let's, 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 let's do this together now. How many of you sometime, sometime today, at one point, you looked in the mirror today? Huh? And those of you who didn't, we can tell. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> All right. When you looked in the mirror, what you saw was a reflection. Now, please listen to me now. That was not you. That was a reflection of you. Because notice, you cannot touch that reflection. That was a reflection. That was not you. It was a reflection of you. You have never been able to look at yourself eyeball to eyeball. Yes, I have. And looked in the mirror. No, you saw a reflection of you. But that wasn't you on the other side. I, yes, I have. I looked at myself eyeball to eyeball. What'd you do? Pull your eyeballs out and flip them around? <laughs> No, you haven't. You looked at a reflection. And I follow this carefully now. The reflection gave you the opportunity to see what you look like. You trust that reflection. You trust that reflection so much that if that reflection shows you that a hair is out of place, you add action and you fix what's out of place. That's not you. That's a reflection that you trust. You trust that reflection so much if there's a big bump there, you'll put your hands up there and be able to feel, oh, it is there. You trust that reflection. But the Bible is like that mirror. And when you look into the Bible, it'll show you a reflection of your spirit that you cannot see, except the only, see, you can't see the physical man, you can't see yourself, but you can see a reflection. Hallelujah, shaka. You can't see your spirit, but you can see a reflection. Where is the reflection of your spirit, man? It's in the Bible. When you open the word of God up and read it, it is showing you a reflection of your spirit, man. It is showing you what's, what your reflection is really like. But you believe your natural reflection in a mirror more than you believe your spiritual reflection in the Bible. Because in the mirror, you'll comb your hair because the mirror image the, the, told you you had need to be combed. But the image of the word tells you, hey man, you need to watch your mouth. Wait a minute, it's giving you a reflection. When you gonna trust that reflection? You think you're reading a book. And I'm telling you, you're not reading a book. It's the reflection of the spirit that you can't see. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all. 
You're looking in the word and it says love, joy, peace, and meekness. That's a reflection of you can know everything about your spirit because everything that word promises you is a reflection of what your spirit already has. Everything that word has for you is a reflection of what your spirit already has. When it says that you have the very power that raised Jesus up from the dead, that is a reflection of what you already had. If you read the Bible like you read the mirror, then you can do what you need to do with yourself to make sure that you doing what the reflection is and oh, y'all understand what I'm saying I can no longer open the Bible and read it up like I read a novel because this is now different than a novel or the newspaper this is me Lord have mercy somebody got it I said this is me this is me this shows me when something's out of line this shows me when something needs to be adjusted this shows me when something is out of place glory to God and then you know sometimes you look in the mirror and it's all good and that's how listen there have been times when you look in the mirror and you know you get ready to do something you're like shh And that's what we're working for, ladies and gentlemen. We want to be able to open this Bible up and do the same thing. Uh, that's me. That's me. You have power. According to this, that's what the reflection says. You have power. Don't be looking in this thing like, oh, I wish this was me. I'm telling you, it is you. That's the devil trying to tell your soul that ain't you. Because the devil says, how can that be you? When was the last time you seen it? When was the last time you felt it? And you got to tell him, I can't touch my spirit with what's in the natural. But what this word says is what I believe. I can't touch my reflection in the mirror. I can't touch my nose when I put my hands up against that mirror. I can't feel my shoulder when I put my hands up against that mirror. But I believe the reflection is so likewise when I read the word of God and it says I'm prosperous and it says I'm healed and it says I'm delivered and it says this, I believe it, glory be to God. Pick, you ought to pick that Bible up someday and say, let me look at myself. <laughs> let me look at myself. Let me see if anything's out of place. That's real. That's, that's the part we've not been getting. That's the part I'm going to bring you into. You are spirit being. And you're born again spirit has everything that pertains to life and godliness. When you get a hold of the functionality of your spirit, soul, and body, you'll never be broke another day in your life. You'll never be sick another day in your life. You'll never be defeated another day in your life. Because everything you need, you know how to contact through the word. Now you see why, that you see the plan of the devil. Get Christians out of the word. You know when are you going to be to be successful without the word? Get them out of the word and you will take from them the only thing that can make contact with their spirit. Now you check it out yourself. You go and you check out the number of churches that no longer preach the word anymore. They're preaching, you know, uh, um, um, what's, this, what's this thing they call people? A coach? Uh, what, uh, what kind of coach? Yeah. I'm a life coach, so I'm going to preach a bunch of principles to you, but it ain't the word. You can't contact your spirit with all that stuff. I want the word. I want the chapter, the verse. You understand what I'm saying? I want the chapter and the verse. I want the word of God. You keep all of your little fancy sayings all over there. I want the word. I want the word that Jesus breathed through his prophets. I want the word of the living God. I want to make sure that my, yeah, yeah, I see that. I see that. Wait a minute. Have you ever heard of these things called fun mirrors? Fun mirrors will distort your reflection. And those are the mirrors that, you know, it'll, you'll look in them and you got this big old head or, and this little skinny neck or something like that. Well, that's what the enemy wants to do. He wants you to look in 
the fun mirrors to get a false reading on your real reflection. That's what he wants you to do. He wants to give you an optical illusion. He wants you not to see yourself like you really are. You understand what I'm saying? And as long as we have churches that are not preaching the word, you're going to start seeing yourself like you, you know, a, 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 an unrealistic, an optical illusion of you. You're not going to see yourself like you really are. If you start listening to this mess and it's not lining up with the word, you're going to start seeing yourself weak. You're going to start seeing yourself powerless. You're going to start seeing yourself as someone that needs to tolerate with this and tolerate with that because they're trying to be a life coach and tell you this is all right, but then you got to do this and the word tells you to do something else. No, 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 you keep that. I don't want to look at myself through a fun mirror. I want to look at myself through the word of God. I don't want to look at myself through some life coach book. I want to look at myself through the word of God. I don't want to look at myself through some talk show. I want to look at myself through the word of God. I don't want to look at myself through no fun mirror. I want to look at myself in a real mirror and see the reality of the reflection of who I am. Get away from the fun mirrors. Break those fun mirrors. Open up the Bible and see the real reflection that God wants you to be in. Are y'all getting this? 